It's runtime. So here's everything that happened in Indian tech in the last 24 hours. First of all, Pixel has successfully launched three more hyperspectral Earth imaging satellites aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. And this actually marks the completion of the first phase of Firefly, which is India's first ever private Earth imaging satellite constellation. And you know what? I'm just going to let Shitij Kandawal, one of the founders of Pixel, tell you more about it. We're launching three more Firefly satellites. It completes the constellation. The team has been giving it everything for the last three years, blood, sweat, tears, days, nights, weekends, festivals. How many satellites will be in space after tonight? Six fireflies and a total of nine satellites sent by Pixel so far. So what is it going to mean for Pixel as a company and as a business? The next three satellites that go up uh, essentially increase the frequency uh, with which we can take images of the Earth. For a customer that was otherwise getting data once every 14 days, will now get it once every couple days. And that kind of difference means everything to customers who depend on seasonality, especially agri-customers who want to monitor their crops regularly, or even in forestry monitoring or biomass monitoring, or if you're looking at oil and gas. And as the demand goes up, we will keep adding more. After these three, what's next? What are you going to set up into space next? We have a honeybee satellite that's going up next year. That satellite's going to extend our spectral bandwidth uh, and the spectral range all the way from visible near infrared to short wave infrared. So, the spectral range of the satellite goes into a region where we can do multiple applications in mining, oil and gas, uh, mineralogy, geology, specifically with environment and disaster management also. And I'll just wrap this segment up with the separation of these satellites from Falcon 9. Now, Pixel wasn't the only Indian company to launch a satellite aboard Falcon 9. Hyderabad-based Dhruva Space also conducted Leap 1, which is their first ever commercial mission on the P-30 satellite bus. And so this bus is hosting two in-orbit demonstration missions. One is Akula Tech's Nexus 01 mission, where they've sent up an advanced AI module. And then there's also Akula Tech's Espresso hyperspectral imager, which was developed by Esper Satellites. And both of these are Australian companies, so they're bringing the AI module and the imager module and then Dhruva is bringing the bus which Akula's modules go inside of. And here's a video of uh, Dhruva space celebrating as Leap 1 was deployed from Falcon 9. Now if you're a builder in space tech or really any sector that requires huge amounts of innovation whether it's robotics or semiconductors, EVs, drones then you're definitely going to want to be a part of the Runtime WhatsApp community. To gain access to that community just DM the Runtime X account and I'll I'll give you access. So that's all of the Indian tech news that happened in the last 24 hours. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.